What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dan Whitmer from Zen Dude Fitness, and today we're doing a workout with two jump ropes a heavy rope and an agility rope. <laughs> So Zen Dude Nation, by popular demand, we are finally doing a video that involves two jump ropes, one heavy and the regular, the other one being just the regular agility rope. It's pretty straightforward, guys. So what we're doing here is changing up the intensities at which we are jumping, meaning that we're gonna start off going 30 seconds on the heavy rope, nice and easy, and then speed it up a little more for a minute, nice and steady again. On the agility rope, we're gonna repeat that pattern um, for eight different sets or eight different exercises. When you complete that one time, that's one circuit. My beginners, I want you to complete this circuit a total of two times while my more advanced people rest a minute in between and complete it three. Ladies and gentlemen, our favorite jump ropes and the ones we use in every single video it's the cross ropes, these guys right here. They're the best, they're the most durable. They even have this cool little pulley system that you can just buy new ropes instead of always having to buy new handles. So in the long run, you end up saving a ton of money. And the cables are also very durable, so they last a long time. Look guys, this is Endude Fitness. Brandon and I only want the best for us and you. That's why we go with cross rope. Join also the free four week challenge because you get four free weeks of workouts, direct daily access to Brandon and myself. We coach you up, we give you motivation. You're gonna leave there looking pretty awesome, so I suggest you click the, click the link below and check it out. All right, ladies and gents, dudes and dudettes, we've got our first ever heavy rope and normal rope workout today. Hello. Starring Dan Whitmer. Hi guys. All right. So if you guys are new to jump rope, this one pound heavy rope by cross rope is a great jump rope to start with because it's, it's easy to get in a rhythm because it doesn't move too quickly, but you will notice you'll fatigue quite quickly around the shoulder and the forearm area. Are you feeling that, Dan? All right, I got cut off earlier because I got the circuits wrong. And we're doing 30 seconds heavy rope followed by one minute agility rope. So Dan's got about a minute here, as do you. So crank it. You got freestyle, do what you want to do. You can do regular bounce. You can do a little run in place like Dan is, a little boxer skip. Have fun with it, just move your body. Move your body. Move Not your good. body, girl. Let, let it go. 30 seconds in, you got 30 more seconds here and you get, your little, you get a little rest. So here, the point is to get yourself in a good rhythm. You're not absolutely killing yourself because this is a minute long circuit and uh, that's a long time to go all out effort. So, Dan, what percentage would you say you're going about right now? It's like 70. 70%, so let's keep it about there. Calculate your brain for 70% and you got seven seconds left. Five, four, three, all right, back to the heavy rope again, you guys. Same form as you use with the agility rope. You want your arms jutting out to the side by a 90 degree angle, keeping that shoulder tight and compact. The only thing that's really moving is the rope here. And of course, you bouncing on the balls of your feet. <laughs> balls of your feet. 10 more seconds on the heavy rope. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are right back at it with the agility rope here, you guys. And again, the heavy rope, you just can't move it that fast, even if you wanted to. So you pick up the pace a little bit more with the agility rope. But again, you're going about 70% of your all out effort here, because you got a full minute. 45 more seconds, Dan, you're doing great. And you at home, you're doing great as well. Beautiful. So again, guys, you can do freestyle form here. If you want to do a little run in place like Dan is, little, little X feed X's. Little Christy Cross, you know, just have fun with it. 
The whole point here is that you're moving your body and you're keeping the intensity decently high because that's how you burn the calories. Here we go, 15 more seconds with the agility rope. Here we go, 10 seconds now, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one, done. right back to the heavy rope. So we got 30 seconds here with the one pound cross rope here. And you can see here, really, it's hard to do many tricks. I know Dan can do some tricks with the heavy rope, but just focus on doing regular bounce and run in place. And if you wanna get wild like Dan, you're more than welcome to. It just takes uh, a lot of dexterity and a lot of, uh, a lot of skill. Eight more seconds, Dan, and friend at home. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, we got one minute on the agility rope. I will mention again, if you want this agility rope, it's gonna be linked down in the description, and there's gonna be a separate link for the heavy rope. So there's two links down there. If you want this rope or the other rope, you can find them both below. Here we go, 45 more seconds. Here, just get in your flow, get in your zone, find your rhythm. If you're listening to music right now, you probably don't hear me. <laughs> but if, you, if you're listening to our music and provide it with this, you know, listen to my voice, listen to the music, and find your rhythm. You got 30 more seconds. Beautiful, and again, you don't have to do anything fancy with your feet here. Just keep that good, solid, normal jump rope form and push yourself here and let's finish strong. 15 seconds. 10 more seconds. And we got five, four, three, two, one, time. Here we go. This is your last set on the heavy rope here of this circuit. And then if you're a beginner, we want you to do one more, and if you're advanced, you're gonna do two more after this. Of course, with a one minute break. <laughs> we're not lunatics, we're not gonna kill you. You should kill yourself. Here we go, 10 more seconds, kill finish yourself. strong. Jump rope, go kill all out. Hashtag kill yourself with a jump rope. Three, two, one. Here we go, last set of this circuit. One minute strong with the agility rope. Here we go. And if you want, you can push yourself a little bit more in this last exercise here. I don't know if this is the last one you're doing for the whole workout. If it is, definitely push yourself. Finish on a strong note. We believe in you. Do the thing. Come on. Come on now. You've got 35 seconds left. And then you're free to do whatever you wanna do. Finish strong. Just like Dan here, bouncing just between the balls of your feet and your toes, staying nice and light. You don't want much of a pitter patter on the floor here. You wanna stay light on the balls of your feet. And you got yourself 10 seconds left. And we got the countdown, five, four, three, two, Thank you for watching this video. I hope this workout kicked your ass and I hope that you're very tired now. Maybe even a little bit mad at me. That's okay, that's fine. But nonetheless, if you got a great workout and you love what we're doing here at Zen Dude Fitness, which is getting people lean and happier with jump ropes and helping them live an epic life, then give this video a thumbs up below. Give this channel a, a subscribe so we continue to grow. And uh, I just lastly, on behalf of Brennan and myself, wanna say thank you guys for all the positivity that you put into this community. It does not go unnoticed. Let's keep this revolution growing. Let's keep doing the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm from Zen Dude Fitness. Once I started using two jump ropes instead of one, I lost an additional 40 pounds. So now I jump rope with two jump ropes at the same time. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, bro.